Molecular gastronomy is the culinary art that applies the principles of chemistry to transform food, creating innovative textures, flavors, and presentations. This approach goes beyond traditional cooking methods by understanding the molecular structure of ingredients and how they interact during various cooking processes. For example, chefs can use techniques such as spherification to create small, gel-like spheres that burst with flavor, or foams and emulsions to introduce light, airy textures that completely change the eating experience. How can chemistry change the way we cook? One clear example is the use of hydrocolloids, substances like agar, gelatin, or xanthan gum, to alter the texture of liquids. By adding these agents, a liquid can be transformed into a gel, a foam, or even a liquid that behaves more like a solid, offering new ways to present dishes. Chefs might create a caviar of flavored liquids that pops in your mouth, or a silky sauce that changes consistency as you eat. Such techniques not only enhance the visual appeal of a dish, but also bring out unexpected flavor combinations. Another fascinating aspect is the control of temperature at a molecular level. Techniques such as sous vide cooking use precise low temperature water baths to cook food evenly while retaining its natural juices and textures. This method relies on a deep understanding of how proteins, fats, and other molecules respond to heat over time. By controlling the cooking environment with scientific precision, chefs can achieve results that are difficult to replicate with traditional high heat methods. Method. Molecular gastronomy also encourages the exploration of flavor pairings through chemical analysis. By understanding the volatile compounds and molecular structures in different ingredients, chefs can predict which combinations will work harmoniously. This scientific approach to flavor can lead to innovative recipes that push the boundaries of what we expect from traditional cuisines. <laughs> Some may ask, does molecular gastronomy only create unusual dishes or does it have practical benefits? The answer is that while many techniques seem avant-garde, they can also improve the overall quality and consistency of food. For instance, precise temperature control not only enhances flavor but also ensures that the nutritional content of food is better preserved. Additionally, by breaking down complex dishes into their molecular components, chefs can design meals that cater to specific dietary needs or create entirely new textures that make healthy ingredients more appealing. In essence, molecular gastronomy transforms food by harnessing the power of chemistry to innovate both taste and presentation. It bridges the gap between art and science, encouraging chefs to experiment with new techniques and ingredients. Whether it's creating playful culinary surprises like edible spheres or optimizing the way food is cooked to preserve flavor and nutrition, the science of molecular gastronomy is revolutionizing the way we experience food. How might embracing these techniques inspire you to rethink your approach to cooking? The possibilities are as vast as the world of chemistry itself, promising an exciting future for both professional chefs and home cooks alike. Spherification is a technique that encapsulates a liquid inside a gel-like membrane mimicking caviar. This is achieved through a reaction between sodium alginate, seaweed extract, and calcium ions, forming an insoluble gel layer around the liquid. The process comes in two forms, basic spherification, where the liquid contains sodium alginate and is dropped into a calcium chloride bath, and reverse spherification, where the liquid contains calcium and is dropped into an alginate bath. The result is a burst-in-the-mouth effect as the thin membrane breaks when bitten. Chefs use spherification to create melon caviar, cocktail spheres, or olive juice pearls, elevating dishes with unique textures. It's like blowing soap bubbles that hold liquid inside but pop easily when touched. Foams and airs incorporate gas bubbles into a liquid to create light, airy textures using surfactants like soy lecithin or gelatin. The process stabilizes bubbles by modifying the liquid surface tension, preventing the foam from collapsing too quickly. Different gases such as carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, or air can be used to alter texture and mouthfeel. These foams can range from stable and creamy, as in whipped cream, to delicate and ephemeral, as in flavored airs. Chefs create beetroot foam for salads or citrus air for cocktails, enhancing aroma and presentation. It's like beating egg whites into a meringue, 
where air gets trapped inside, creating a fluffy texture. Jellification transforms liquids into gels using hydrocolloids like agar-agar, gelatin, pectin, or carrageenan. These agents form a three-dimensional network that traps water molecules, changing the liquid's viscosity and consistency. Some gels remain firm at room temperature, agar gel, while others melt in the mouth, gelatin. This technique is widely used in modernist cuisine to create creative textures and unique food structures. Fruit juices can be gelled into solid cubes or spaghetti-like strands, offering a new way to present flavors. It's like turning a liquid into jello, where a structure forms but water remains trapped inside. Emulsification is the stable mixing of two immiscible liquids such as oil and water using emulsifiers like egg yolk, mustard, or xanthan gum, these molecules have hydrophilic, water-attracting, and hydrophobic, oil-attracting regions, helping distribute fat droplets evenly in water. Proper emulsification prevents separation and leads to smooth, creamy textures. It is widely used in making sauces, dressings, and desserts. Mayonnaise is a classic emulsion where egg yolk binds oil and vinegar together into a stable, creamy mixture. It's like mixing soap and water to dissolve grease where the soap molecules stabilize the mixture. Flash freezing with liquid nitrogen involves using this extremely cold substance at 96 DEGC slash 931 DFF. To rapidly freeze foods, preventing large ice crystals from forming, this technique results in a smooth, creamy texture in frozen foods and allows for instant freezing of delicate ingredients. Rapid freezing also helps preserve volatile flavors and aromas that are lost in slower freezing methods. This method is widely used in gourmet ice creams and molecular cocktails. Nitrogen frozen ice cream and cocktails provide a theatrical effect while enhancing texture. It's like dipping fruit in dry ice, where extreme cold freezes it instantly without damaging its structure. Caramelization and the Maillard reaction are key processes for creating deep flavors in food. The Maillard reaction occurs when amino acids and sugars react under heat above 140 DGC slash 285 DGF, producing complex flavors and brown colors, while caramelization is the breakdown of sugar molecules alone, resulting in nutty, toasty flavors. These reactions are essential in grilled meats, roasted coffee, and baked goods, enhancing depth and rich controlled manipulation of heat and moisture allows chefs to optimize these reactions for different textures and flavors. Steak seared at high temperatures develops a rich, flavorful crust due to the Maillard reaction. It's like toasting bread until it turns golden brown, enhancing aroma and taste. Saus vide cooking, meaning under vacuum in French, involves cooking food in vacuum-sealed bags submerged in precisely controlled water baths. This technique ensures even cooking by maintaining a stable low temperature over extended periods, preventing overcooking or moisture loss. Proteins in meat denature at specific temperatures while also enhancing flavor retention and juiciness. This method has revolutionized modern culinary techniques. A medium rare steak cooked sous vide at 56 DEC 132 DEF for two hours remains tender and evenly pink inside. It's like cooking food in a controlled steam environment, ensuring perfect doneness. Smoke infusion adds aromatic complexity to foods through controlled vaporization. By burning wood chips at controlled temperatures, smoke releases volatile aromatic compounds that bind to food surfaces. Different wood types provide unique flavors, hickory for richness, applewood for sweetness, and mesquite for intensity. Controlled smoking prevents excess bitterness and enhances flavor depth, and this technique is widely used in meats, cheeses, and even cocktails. Smoked salmon, brisket, and even smoked bourbon cocktails incorporate subtle smoky flavors. It's like adding scented oil to a candle, infusing an aroma into the final product. Fermentation is a process where microbes, bacteria, yeast, or fungi break down sugars into acids, gases, or alcohol, preserving food while enhancing flavor texture and digestibility through chemical transformations. The controlled use of fermentation produces cheese, yogurt, kimchi, kombucha, and sourdough bread, offering probiotic benefits. Different strains of microbes yield distinct sensory profiles, allowing for creative flavor development. Kimchi undergoes lactic acid fermentation, developing its signature tangy taste and probiotic benefits. It's like aging wine, where microbes slowly enhance the complexity of flavors over time. 